should be live. All right. Oh. So we're live. I'm thinking so. Hold on a second. Let me make sure. All right, we are. Hello, everyone. I'm Tommy Sotomayor, and welcome to another episode of One on One with Tommy Sotomayor. This one on one has come via the Around the Web series that I have been doing lately, where I was in a group. As you guys know, they uh, unanimously voted to throw me out of the group because I was in that group and just showing people what was going on in the group. One of the things or one of the um, the people that I saw in the group is the person that you see on the line right now, uh, Royalty. And Royalty was in the group and I was just shocked by what I, I heard. So I just decided to start recording. Because I couldn't believe what was going on. Hello, everyone in the chat room, all the people who are fans of royalty, all the people who are fans of me. I see you guys slowly trickling in, but uh, glad to have you here. And for those who are looking, you see on the screen there, you have one hour left for an opportunity to win the PlayStation 4. One hour left, that's it. So if you guys would like to go ahead and try to win, the link is in the description box. One dollar gets you one shot. Ten dollars gets you ten shot. Twenty, one hundred. You guys know how that works. Thank you to everyone who's put um, something out there. And again, if you'd like to throw in your last little donation to get an opportunity to win a PlayStation 4, do that. Yes, they voted unanimously to throw me out of the group. And now um, I want to invite Royalty to say hello and uh, talk about why you reached out to me. Go ahead. All right. Anyway, so I'm Royalty. And, okay, so I just want to go ahead and address the issue what I had. I had a problem with your clickbait made it seem like I was an obnoxious, like, trans person just sitting on live, and that's what I do, like, every day, talking about how I have HIV, when... My clickbait said that? The title of my show said that? No, the title of your show made it look bad on me, because other way you did it. okay i will make go go ahead and keep going i'm going to make sure that i read the exact title so i can see where i might have went wrong but go ahead okay so first of all i don't know what you generally thought the live was about but you obviously had no clue so okay here's what mine said before so everybody will know my title for those who don't remember it said Tranny goes live on Facebook to discuss having HIV and yet feeling like he, she is better than everyone else. Because you said my shit is still popping and y'all ain't. And you kept saying okay. that the people were jealous. And, and if I was not popping, then obviously you would have never made anything about me. And it's not only just you, but you're, you get, I don't know what you get off of like even titling it that because that sounds very disrespectful. How? And, to give me the disrespectful parts. Um, okay, well, first of all, I don't like being called a tranny. You could have simply asked my, asked my name. Um, or you could How could I have asked you your name? Did. Okay, but you, no, you asked me my name, like, after. Yes, you were live like, when I was recording this. Yes, you were currently live while I was recording it. I'm asking you simply, how could I ask you your name? You could have typed it like you were typing while I was alive. Nobody knows royalty. People know a transsexual. They okay, know what that well, is. Just like if okay, uh, 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 when I was uh, well, let me let me say something. When I was on um, what is that? Uh, Huffington Post. You know what they called me? Controversial radio show host. Okay. Well, let, let me tell you something. I don't even know what they called you. I know what I want to be called. That's not my name. That's not how I like to be. And called. hence on the show, I called you royalty. Okay. Yes. And when I went on I, I when I went on yes. their show, they, and when I went on their show, they called me Tommy. But when they put their thing up, nobody they didn't know that people knew who I was. But they don't know they do know that people know who a controversial radio show host is. Okay, but what I what I'm getting at is I don't care if people know I'm trans or not. That's not if you want to put up there that I was HIV positive, you could have simply asked my name. You do not put Trini because Trini, I feel as is disrespectful. I don't. I don't know how other transgenders feel, but I don't want to be called no trans. I feel you. That's why, I, like, I had a conversation with uh, T. S. Madison. That's why I feel like calling a transsexual her is disrespectful to women. They were born that way. This other person is just par par uh, parading around that way. 
Okay, it's, but this is not a parade because I don't do this on just a one day occasion. I don't do this on no nighttime edition type stuff. I don't do that. Doesn't it's matter when you do it, life. you're still but it doesn't matter when you do it, you're not a female. So why would I call you she or her? Okay, but therefore that's ignorant for you to say because just like as if you were that's basically like saying So if I start telling people I'm twenty years old, everybody should address me as a young man because I want them to because I feel like I'm twenty. Are you being serious now? Um I'm twenty years old and no, I, I said me. As a transgender, I expect people to identify me as a trans. No, that what person. I'm asking you is a simple question. There are girls out there who will not date me and who are my age, 42. If I feel like I'm 20 and I get along with 20 year olds, would I be? Would it be okay that I force everyone to address me as a young man instead of what I am, a middle aged man, because I feel like that? Okay, but we all see that you're an old ass man. Are you serious? And without the add-ons, we'd see you were a dude. Okay, but obviously you didn't know that. How did not? You said I titled it that way. Okay, I'm saying when I <laughs> heard things, you were being funny or either acting like you didn't know, and you wouldn't have even have. And no one would even have. So if I fool young girls, wait a minute. So if I fool young girls by dyeing my hair black and getting facial surgery, then it's okay that I tell them I'm 20, right? That's what you're saying, right? It's okay that I lie as long as people don't know. That's clearly not what I'm saying. Look, let me let me go ahead and address my issues. Okay, please. I feel that you are so ignorant. First what does ignorant mean? You, you're ignorant for simply coming out as everyone else did. And when you want to be identified as something, People should respect you enough to be identified as that. You're saying you're twin as if you're saying if you said you were 20 and you're actually 42, should people address you that way? Um, if that's how you want to be addressed, but no, that's not that's not really That's actually better than what you're doing. You're telling people that you are a different sex than you really are. I'm just telling somebody no, I'm a no, certain no, no, age. No, 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 hold on, hold on, uh -huh. hold on, no, no, no. I don't never tell nobody that I'm a different motherfucking sex, first of all. Okay. First of all, when I'm addressing someone and someone is trying to talk to me, I come out and respectfully say I am a trans woman because that's how I feel. I don't say I'm a man because that's not exactly what I want to be called. I don't say, and if people don't know what a trans woman is, that's somebody you know that has been born a boy. That's not the life that we want to live anymore. So therefore, it shouldn't matter whatever, what it was on the past. People are dwelling on the past. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm not trying to have sex with nobody else on this motherfucker broadcast, not even my own supporters. So therefore, even putting HIV and all that other stuff up there, like, you just didn't... You why wouldn't I put it when that's what you were saying, about. though? But why wouldn't I put that know, if that's what you... you didn't, basically, you didn't know what you were talking about. Tell you me what I got wrong. Like, Tell me what I got wrong. That's all I'm asking then. Because to me, okay, ignorant, me, me what, the word ignorant needs to be from, you. The word ignorant needs to... From, what I got from the HIV was um, what I got from... No, just tell me what I got wrong. Don't assume nothing. Tell me what I wrote that was wrong. I done told you what you wrote that was wrong. No, you said what you didn't like. Uh-uh. You said you didn't like. See, you call me an old ass man. I don't think okay, I'm an old okay. wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, but Hold okay, on. No, I stop, know, stop, I, stop. Okay, but if I, if I, I addressed you as an old ass man, you just you like did. But would you like it? What I like compared to who you are, if you're 20 and I'm 42, I'm two times your age. So I could expect that that's, that person would say that's, that. That's what makes even sadder that you're two times my age that's what makes it even sadder so let me get this straight you being online at 20 with hiv talking about how you popping ain't sad me me you, to displaying it guess what you you viewed in on the story you had no clue about those people in room 21 already most of them already know the story you i wasn't talking, talking to room 21 you were even asking questions I wasn't talking to room 21. 
I'm talking to my audience, just like you're doing right now. Guess who you're okay. not talking to? Room 21. These people well, don't know I'm, you. Okay, but I'm telling you, the people, I'm telling you, though, the people in room 21 already know. You didn't. So, therefore, you you had no clue how my HIV story went. You had no clue about none of that. So, therefore, instead of making a title like that or a title on how, like, you basically did it to make it seem like I was being ignorant on my No, side. I didn't. You're adding things. I'll read the title again. Don't I'm add not, things because that's a lie. You, you talk about how somebody doesn't know something, yet you keep adding okay, shit no, that you know you didn't read because you, you want somebody to feel bad for you. You want to victimize no, yourself. No, 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 no. I don't want anybody to feel bad So for then you. stop that's saying what I basically said and say what I actually said. How about that? That's, that's not what I'm saying, though. I don't see this is what y'all get off of what y'all hear from me, though. Just like. Y'all get off of, oh, I want people to feel sad for me, or I want people to feel sorry for me, just because I talk about a certain topic. When I talk about HIV, I give people knowledge on it because there's so many ignorant people out here, as of you that have no clue, and you might know a little bit of something, and I don't know everything about it because as, as of now, yes, I'm only 20 years old, and I'm still learning about the disease that I have. But the way that you put the title did not come off respectful towards me. I don't give a damn what anybody else thinks. And I don't care what, that's the point. I wouldn't care what you thought. I'm writing a title based upon what I saw. Let me, hold on, wait, wait, no, 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 hold on. If you see me whoop the hell out of a 15 year old, you just see me whooping this thing. Okay, stop, let me. see you whoop the hell out of no 15 year old, that's irrelevant. Oh, Jesus Christ. Talking, then stop saying what you're saying. If you're gonna just keep cutting me off like that, then stop saying what you're saying. Either read what I wrote, but don't tell me how you felt, cause I don't care how you felt, cause okay, I did it for my audience, not you. First of all, I can't read how you wrote because it was a broadcast. I can listen, but I don't have another phone to sit up here and give you how I felt about these certain things of how I this felt. I don't know. You did a whole hour. People were writing in your comments stuff that you would find embarrassing or hurtful in your own comment section. You said people are what? People were writing while you were live in your own comment section during that show. So-called disrespectful stuff. Yes, because those people were ignorant off of the back. Why is everybody who writes something you don't like ignorant? Because when you say something disrespectful, that's ignorant. No, it isn't. You need to look up what the word ignorant means. And then you yes, stop being is. so ignorant of how you're it's using stupid. it. No, it's stupid. look up what the word ignorant it's means. Ignorant. Y'all, y'all. What does ignorant mean? Please, I, I'll let you, since you're just going to keep talking, I'm going to hush and let you explain what it means. Okay, and my, it means stupid. Ignorant. You're acting stupid. Okay, now let me tell you what the actual definition is. Since you don't want to be ignorant right now, since you're saying something just because you want it to. Remember, you don't want to be called something that you're not. But then since you're wanting to be referred to as a woman and you're not, I, it would be make sense that you'd want to use the word ignorant however you want to instead of the way it's actually meant. Let me read it for you, the definition. Okay, so, we're going to read it. Because I, I wish that people would stop using this word correctly and stop thinking that it's a bad word. Okay, ignorant means this, lack, lacking knowledge or awareness in general. Uneducated. Hold on, if a person knows you are a born a man and they refuse to refer to you as something else, that doesn't make them ignorant, that makes them honest. An ignorant person would be a person that thought you were an actual woman and didn't know you were born a man. That's ignorance, he did okay, not know. But you're using that off of the lack of intelligence part. That's the whole thing. You're using that off of the lack of intelligence part. If somebody is fooled by, uh, by you know, looking at me and, you know, thinking that I'm a woman, I don't feel like that makes them ignorant on my behalf. I mean, I don't feel like that makes them ignorant on their behalf. Because it does because they lack knowledge. They don't know. It literally does. That's the definition. It's like you're going to okay, keep ignoring I can, it. Look, I, get, I get what you're saying, but I'm saying that's how, that, that's how I interpret it. So we don't care about facts. We want to go by so feelings is what you're saying. So obviously, if I, felt, if I didn't feel any type of way about it, I wouldn't have addressed it. Address it honestly then. Don't call people ignorant because it makes you feel good to use the word when it doesn't apply. But you're acting ignorant. I just no. told you what ignorant and if, means. And if you know what I 
And if you know what I mean by it, then obviously it shouldn't even fucking matter. Don't sit up okay, y'all see what just happened? Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Y'all see what just happened? She said, uh, or he, however you want to refer to him, said. Exactly. That's, that's what I'm talking about, though. Because you know I want to be referred to as a she because that's the lifestyle that I want to live. And but you know I want to be referred to as a pimp. So please refer to me as a pimp the rest of the show. Okay, but you're not a pimp. Jesus Christ. Do, do, you take, do you take pills to be a pimp? You take pills to be a pimp? No, I wear clothes and run around and talk like this. You know what I'm saying? I do that. I try to talk like a pimp and dress like a pimp. So therefore, you refer to me as a pimp. Same thing you do. You try to talk and act like what you believe a female do, would do. Hence, you want to be referred to that. No. no do female? Let me ask you something. It's a, it's Does a, a female of, have to take pills to be a female? Though. Simple it's question. A of, Does a, a female of, have to take pills to be a female? Simple question. Does a female have to take a pill to be a female? A female doesn't have to take a pill to be a female. But in order to be a trans woman, a trans woman has to take a pill, a pill to be a female. If you want to get it down like that. A trans woman has to take a pill to, in order to be a female to grow breast. And we can have surgery to, you know, get that removed and stuff. And if you, and if you don't, I, and if you wouldn't address us that way, first of all, not even us, this is me. If you wouldn't address me that way, or um, after I was to get, you know, boob surgery or whatever, or get my dick cut off or whatever the case may be, if someone was to still address me as a male, I would still be, you know, just as mad. So, if I go and get plastic surgery to make my face look younger, I would be offended that somebody referred to me as middle age, and I can force them to now refer to me as a young man, because you know, I got all the surgeries. It's, it's, all, it's all about respect. Fuck a force. But it is force. If I know you're, if you tell me you're a dude, you were born a dude. Okay, I'm not. But look, I didn't get on this broadcast to force shit on you. So then, that's I'm what I'm saying. So we shouldn't know, be talking I'm about that. I'm, I'm letting, I'm sitting here letting you know you simply didn't know what the fuck you were talking about. Give me the but part that I said that was wrong, then, and I'll address it. I'll even apologize. Tell me what okay, I said that was I wrong. But I don't want to apologize because I don't. Then just tell me what I said was wrong because I don't like being accused of nothing. You just accused me, so tell the audience what I said that was wrong, please. I simply said what you said that was wrong. If I feel that you are disrespecting That's if not I feel wrong. That you are disrespecting me. Your feelings wrong. doesn't make me wrong. Your how you feel doesn't make me wrong. That's not if you feel like I am short in your opinion, that doesn't make you wrong for saying it. But I'm offended that you would call me short. That doesn't make okay, you wrong. That wouldn't make me wrong if you were if you were short. If obviously right. if you were short compared you can be short compared to a tall person and be tall compared to a short person. And that yes, person. but you're a man, but you're a man genetically, period. So I can't okay, be so, wrong for that. Okay, it doesn't matter what the fuck I was born. What I'm telling you is what I go by. But yet you wouldn't and accept me boy, telling you to call me a pimp. I up there, it made it look as if I was just on there talking about how No, it didn't. Know, Okay, but you only gave you only gave them a brief live cast. I gave them as much was there until you got off. Okay, I, and therefore you don't even you don't even know shit about it though. So therefore you putting me having HIV up there, you have no clue how I got it. I don't care I, how you got it. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. The way that you're making it seem is that I'm the person up there talking about oh how I got HIV and. You keeping it up there is always going to make my appearance look like I'm the person that's up there talking about how I got HIV. Don't it's your, ver it's your words. You ain't giving me no motherfucking props and no motherfucking live broadcast. You did. You ain't let people know a damn thing about me. I don't know you. you. That's why I brought you on the show. Jesus Christ. And guess what? And guess what? You're not trying to know anything about me. Because you keep talking about nonsense instead of telling me. You keep trying to tell me that I should refer to you as a female, and if I don't, I'm disrespectful. You keep telling me okay. what you thought I was trying to say instead of what I was actually saying. You ignore you what know, I wrote. Not, okay. Let me know if you gonna let some. Let me know. Are you exactly gonna know what somebody said off an hour long video? I didn't even watch the whole thing. So then, don't tell me what I said that was wrong. No, you tell you tell me what you said. Yes, you know. 
you watched your own live video or you made you you specifically tell me on that hour long video what the hell you said no i would like for you to tell me what bothered you about it wouldn't that make sense you reached out to me I, i've already told you though but what you're saying is you don't like my opinion you don't want me to refer to everything you said out of your own mouth. I would not have known you had HIV unless you said it. I would not have known you were born a man unless you said it. So I didn't make up anything because I didn't know what I was watching until you explained it. Okay, but what I'm sitting here telling you, it might be your opinion, but if you want me to give you my thoughts of how I feel about it, it's disrespectful and that's my opinion. So therefore, well, I understand that. Out of my mouth is my opinion. So I feel as if you're disrespecting me by calling me a he when I want to be a she, then therefore I find it disrespectful. Period. I should not have to go out here and be addressed as anything I do not want to be. Yes, but you you're should not force it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So but, but okay, so I agree with you. Wait, wait. Is, but what you're saying is as if as if somebody was out here because what you're you're trying to. What you're trying to do is why well, you keep going confused. by this what i'm what trying to do why don't you tell me what i'm actually do doing confuse me because what you're saying is and you kind of compared it to this which would make no sense huh saying that you were a 20 year old but you're actually 40 that has nothing to do with what being, and saying i'm a guy i mean saying i'm a um trans female because a trans female already has the title of what it is like right? So, so then I shouldn't have to refer to you as her then. Okay, but therefore, why would you not? Her already has a definition, ma'am. Well, does it not? Okay, but still, why would you? Tell, tell me specifically, why would you not address me as a she? Because I'll tell you why. Because if I and not, don't. And no, 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 no. Not only because. Not because so you don't I, want the I, answer. I got not, it. Not because I was born a boy. Tell me another reason why you would not address me as a she. Why don't you let me tell you a reason? Don't sit and tell me. Don't use the one that makes the most sense. That makes no sense. Listen to what you just said. All right, now, let, ignore the fact that I was born a, a boy. Now tell me why you want to call me a boy. That don't make any sense. Ignore the fact that I'm 500 pounds. Now tell me why you want to call well, me fat. See, no, well, well, see what you're doing, what you're doing on here? What you said made no sense. Okay, look, 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 look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What you're doing on here? is you're confusing me and you're making me sound like I'm making no sense, which I'm probably not because you're confused. Wow. I, but simply, this is what I wanted to address you. I wanted to address you because as you said, you had your opinion and this is my opinion. You're disrespectful. You're disrespectful because when you are disrespectful, it's something that I, I personally see and see in it. I don't give a fuck how your fans or whatever people see. It's a trans female. If I want to be called a female, I want to be called a she or I want to be called a her for you not to use that. And that's what I would like to go by is absolutely. And I'm going to say it just because you don't like it. Ignorant. Okay. And since you're going to say something just because I don't like it, then I'm going to call you a man because I know you don't like it since you want to talk about respect. How about that? Okay, but therefore you you've already been disrespectful. I haven't called you so shit. No, Hold on. No, I haven't called you shit no in the show. Disrespect. In this show, I haven't called you shit. Okay, but I'm sitting here letting you know what you did in the previous show. And when you talk the about the fuck does that have to do with we talking to you now? What does that have to do with me talking to you now? You don't know anyone's living. This person came on my show to just say, let me just talk randomly. That's what they did. They spent time out of their day. I want y'all to understand what just happened. This person spent time out of their day, reached out to me, wanted to talk to me, just so they could do just like the other one did. And I'd have a real conversation. And that makes sense to them. A normal person would have went on with their damn day because they know they didn't want to actually have a conversation conversation with me they would have never reached out to me because they knew they didn't want to talk to me but nope this person spent a day and a half reaching out to me just so they could come on the show and ta -ta 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 you did it better did it out and not have a real discussion that makes sense okay but no that's that's not that's not what i was trying to get at that's literally what you're doing what? you said okay, you would okay, repeat okay, a word let me tell you, let me tell you something. you said you were going to repeat a word because you know i don't like it that sounds real mature even though, not that i don't like it you're incorrect in your usage but that's niggas problem y'all don't okay, mind being look, ignorant if, but look this this is where i find this is where, okay so would you want somebody calling you 
Uh-huh. Our old ass men are out of your name. If you don't feel like it's respectful to you, would you want someone to do it? Period. Yes or no? Look, let me tell you. you I, no, no, I'll explain it simply. You have it. never let me explain any shit you've asked. This whole show, you ask me a question. Every time I try to fucking answer it, you keep talking. And you don't think that's stupid at all. Well, why do you call me? Why do you call me a boy? And then I'm trying to answer it. You kept on talking. What the fuck kind of shit is this? Am I being punked right now? Is Ashton Kutcher in here and I just don't see him? He about to come the fuck out any minute. Ashton is in the car with you. I know it. Yeah, I'm being punked. I'm being punked. Okay, that's that's true. Look, okay, I can't, I can't help it. But okay, anyway, anyway, go ahead. Go. See, now we had, we can laugh. We can get somewhere, right? Okay, Once you laugh ahead. and you stop being angry, now we can get somewhere. That's all. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm, I'm a little upset. I know <laughs> you're playing the role that you gotta play, and I get it. But we're real people now, so let's have a real conversation. We've gotten all the drama out, and we've we've entertained the fans. But let's have a real conversation now. So I'll answer. I'll tell you what I'll do. Any question you ask me, serious question, I promise you I'll answer it. All right. So if someone was to call you out of your name, or um, and not even really out of your name, if it was something that you found that was disrespectful towards you, and being that I've already said disrespectful towards you, obviously you wouldn't like it. But would you like it? I mean, if it was disrespectful towards you and you felt so strongly about it, would you like it? Well, I can explain that easily. Most people don't like hearing anything other than positive stuff, but positive stuff isn't going to make us grow. So I've had women tell me I was too short to date them. It hurt because I really wanted to be with that chick. But I can't get mad and say you should not feel that way. That's ridiculous. She has the right to feel that way. Because another woman didn't think I was too short at all. I had a girl who was 28 who told me I was too old to date her. The next girl I dated was how old? 21. So why is it that the 21 didn't think I was too old, but the 28 did? So I'm not going to be offended, though. I can be personally offended, but I can't make them feel like I'm not what they felt. Okay. That's all. But see, but see, the thing about it is like, I'm not trying to make people respect me. I'm trying to make people see what they're doing is obviously. And in the process of you doing this, though, let me ask you something. You said I didn't know how you got HIV. Do me a favor and explain that to the audience since you say I didn't know because I don't mind being educated. How did you contract this? Well, basically, the moral of the story was that someone and see what people what people don't get is when, when you go on my YouTube, you're going to see the story. But what people don't get is that the moral of that story was the person who gave me HIV did it purposely. So therefore, when I'm, on, when I'm on live and stuff, it's not for them to feel sorry for me. It's for me to educate those who do not know anything about it. Yeah, but you and haven't told us. We're, I'm, I just asked, and you're not telling me now. How can you but, tell me but, I don't know something and I say, okay, educate I, me? And then you won't. But what, I'm, but what I'm telling you now is how I got it, because that's what you asked. You asked how I got it. Yes, but you're being very vague. You said, well, the person did it to me on purpose. That doesn't tell me anything. I don't know any. We don't know the relationship I, between I you and the person. Nothing. Okay, please do that. Okay, basically, the more, what I said, the more of the story was that the guy gave it to me on purpose. And as everyone else knows on my YouTube channel, and when you go to it, people try to make it, try to pinpoint it out for me to be the bad guy, being that I was the one that, you know, knew, well, didn't really know about him having HIV, but knowing that he was an escort. So they try to, you know, put the, put that blame on me because he was an escort and stuff. But what people aren't getting is he just didn't tell me. If he would have told me, regardless of what he does for a living, because there's people out here that, that have to do that for a living, honestly, to survive. So I don't really never judge anybody. But people don't know that, you know, he, being that he gave it to me on purpose, I, I'm, I'm losing myself. But be, being that people didn't See, this is what I mean. Let me tell you why you're losing yourself. And I'm going to help you guys out because for some reason, because black. You keep, you keep 
I didn't say shit. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you do that shit. You were literally speaking so long, I had started typing and doing other shit. And you were confusing yourself. So stop it. Stop blaming another motherfucker for what you did. That ain't right. Aud audience, audience, how long have I been letting this person talk and I didn't say a word? Now they just said that it's my fault that they confused themselves. I wasn't saying anything. You were literally talking for about five minutes uninterrupted. You cannot. They even writing it. You lost your train of thought. You were speaking too long. If it's a simple question, you get a simple answer. You kept making it complex and going around, around, around. Lost your I own know, train I of know, thought. I so know, once I you know, said I, I'm, 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 once you said I've lost my train of thought, that's when I jumped in. I, I didn't jump in until you said you lost your train of thought. You wanted more. I didn't. I wasn't saying a word. I was listening I, to you. But when I when I said he gave it to me on purpose. That's basically the more of it. You were like, okay, well, saying that he gave it to you on purpose isn't really. It is. Then you can't then turn around and get mad at me for when I do a video where you are, are speaking like this when you have an opportunity to clear shit up. You still can't speak like an adult. An adult can tell somebody the reason why I had a problem with what you said is because you don't know this. Now, let me tell you this so you can okay, be educated so I, and not I, ignorant. I already told you the reason why I had a problem with you. I would have never even addressed you if I didn't feel any type of way about how you came off in the motherfucking live as well talking shit. Let me ask you a question. Did you, did you out, have you put the man talking, who- Talking about my house was a trap house and laughing about the disease jokes on here made you look just as ignorant as everyone No, else it did. Oh my God. And, and you, you, and you walking around with a wig on saying you a woman and people need to refer to you that and sleeping with a person without a condom who was selling ass in the first place made you look just as ignorant. But it's wrong for me to tell you that. But you can tell me of my reaction well, well, to well, the, well, but well, you can I, tell I, me I, that my reaction to the ignorance you put on the internet matter, is ignorant. It doesn't matter what he was doing. What the that's hell? Not, You're more that's upset that's with me than the nigga that gave you a deadly disease. You are more upset with me than the guy who gave you a deadly disease. You sound ridiculous now. No, I'm I'm very upset with him. No, you're but not because you are, have you put his have you put his business out? Have you put his business out? Have you put his business out? Definitely. Everybody knows his name. They know where he's at, they know what he got. Um, the people that I know and no, no, no. Simple question. Does everybody know, just like everybody know how you tag my name in your post? Did you put a picture of him up and tag his name? No, I didn't. Funny how that works. Okay. So you more offended at the nigga who reported what you put up than the nigga who gave you HIV. No, see that's see that's you ain't on his show talking shit. Oh my god. Okay, so look. So look. You have no clue because you don't know. I have no clue because I asked you and you I, don't know how to explain stuff like an adult. I've been on Facebook. I've been on Facebook for years now. Of course, of course, you can't say everybody because everybody would include your people on here. I just simply ask, can I go to your page and see you tag? I just simply ask, can I go to your page and see his picture tagged and you saying this nigga gave me this? That's all I want to see. But why would I do that when I can simply say Wow. That? But you tagged I, uh excuse he, me. But you tagged me. Said, Hold on. You you didn't you didn't not say my name. You not only said my name, but then tagged me so your people could come to my Instagram on your behalf talking shit. They talk that, see, oh my god. Did you not do this? What lie did I tell? You literally spoke about me, then tagged me, then put a picture of it up to let everybody know where to find me. No, no, what you're saying is not a lie. No, what huh? What I'm telling you is you only seen that. It's plenty of other people who've seen me actually tag him. Well, not even tag him in a lie. He's been in my life. He knows when I go live, he comes in there. People know of him. I've said his name in my life. I just simply I asked. I just simply asked, like how you tag me. 
please tag him because he's the one gave you the. I just made jokes about it, like you said, but I didn't give you anything. So you kind of call me ignorant and everything, but I made jokes about what came out of your mouth. So you making jokes about what comes out of your mouth? You you making jokes makes it okay though. Like, what do you? Oh no no no! What do you? Hold on! What do you mean okay. makes it okay? You personally don't like it, or somebody else doesn't like it. But there's a group of people who find it funny. Every joke finds a person who doesn't like the joke, and people who do find it funny. So Kevin Hart shouldn't be allowed okay. to deliver jokes because somebody in the audience is offended. Okay, but look, that doesn't make it fucking right. That's what I'm getting. It doesn't. It doesn't make, make it, wrong. it wrong. Why doesn't it make it wrong? If half the people like hot dogs and half the people don't, how are hot dogs wrong? Okay, so if someone in your family died of cancer and I thought that was funny, that wouldn't make you feel any type of way? I don't know you! My family member died and I would be worried about mourning my family member instead of getting on fucking line worried about who laughing about it. That's stupid. Okay, but that's... that's see, and that is stupid. Going, and see, you're also going off of the live that you've seen as if I was really worried about what people were saying. When I address something... Hey, you reached out to me, so you must have been. It, it's because I'm a human being. I have feelings. So when I say something about it, it's not that I'm too worried about it, but I'm going to let you know how I feel just as you writing your comment down there, you letting me know how you feel. Yes, so am but, I wrong for letting you know how I feel? As I didn't say you were. Let me tell you the difference between you and me. I'm not dumb enough to keep using the word wrong because I don't like something. Wrong is not the word, but then you keep using the word ignorant. I'm not wrong because you don't like what I said. Just like you're not wrong for expressing it. Jesus Christ. Why can't you get that? Nobody's wrong for expressing themselves. If a person says, I don't feel like gays should get married. He ain't wrong for saying that. Okay, but of course the gay community is going to feel some type of way about it. But it's some people. Oh my God! Like, Just like okay, the white community like, felt some kind of way when okay, slavery okay, ended. Okay, but look, it's some people in the gay community that feels as if they don't need Ooh. to be married. So because somebody feels some type of way, we shouldn't do shit. So cops feel bad when they get investigated for killing a nigga. We shouldn't investigate the cops because it make them feel bad. There's no logic in what you're saying. So now everybody, do you know you wouldn't be allowed to do what you do because it makes Christians feel bad. You wouldn't be allowed to fuck straight men because it makes straight women feel bad. What you're saying okay. don't make sense. Okay, and that's okay. So, but what you're but what you're saying you're not you're not getting it because if someone did something to you, this is what I'm getting. If someone did something to you though, you they didn't do it to me. Felt, and you felt some type of way about it. They didn't do it to me. When let me tell you something. When Huffington okay, Post, when Huffington Post wrote their article about me, which was way bigger than anything I did about you, they specifically lied on me. I ain't sit around bitching and moaning about it. Seriously, okay, I didn't. So, okay, but what I'm what I'm getting at is that you're still not understanding what I'm asking you because it doesn't matter. What you're saying, if I felt some type of way and I, and I felt disrespected, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm saying that you're, what you said was wrong. Like, what you said was wrong, and I personally think it's wrong. Because that's not how you respect somebody. You don't respect somebody by calling them something that they I'm not don't trying want to respect to somebody that in my, when you keep saying that's not how you respect somebody, when you're doing that, that broadcast, I don't think you're respecting yourself. Okay, but how am I not? Same way if you believe I'm not respecting you when I didn't do shit to you, you had to find it. Yeah, and you know why I had to find it? Because you didn't come to me and tell me that you were recording this. I don't have to tell you a thing. Okay, but look, 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 first of all, you don't have to tell me. But what I'm telling you is, you didn't even tell me that you were recording. I didn't have so to. You you had, and while you were, and while you were on there, you could have been asking questions because you obviously didn't even know what the fuck you were talking about, or nor did you know what. You still haven't told me one thing I got wrong. So apparently, I did know what the fuck I was talking about. You haven't named one thing I said that was wrong. So whenever I, I tell somebody, they don't. The whole live though, because what I haven't watched the whole live because all I seen was you being just like them in the comments. So, oh, so here's you what left, we're doing. We're having, a, we're we're you having a a a, a, a a a talk right now. Not based upon you what you're asking about a house that I stay in and 
and then you also laughing about HIV. That's we're ha so what what you're telling the audience is we're having a discussion not based upon what you know which is ignorance we're having a discussion right now not because you watched the whole thing and now took some notes Ooh, and you somebody said fuck my feelings they're saying because you keep talking about feelings but i keep talking about facts i'm not talking about how i feel and the w the problem we have in the black okay, community i didn't get on here to talk about facts bitch I see see and I listen to you talk in your own stream and the things you've said in several of your stream, you aren't very respectful at all. I've listened to how you talk. So why would you now tell, tell somebody else they have to be respectful when you use words okay, like look, bitch I'm to not, people I'm you don't respectful. even know? I'm not respectful when people are disrespectful. That person didn't say anything disrespectful. This whole thing we saying fuck your feelings because you want to talk about facts. Because when you talk about feelings, everybody's feelings count. So then nobody's actions would be worth a damn. If you had to worry about everybody's feelings versus what you do, you wouldn't be able to do anything. You wouldn't be able to sit right here in that car and purport yourself as a, as a female because you feel like one because other people would say, no, that hurts my feelings. That's not right. So you wouldn't be able to do it because you hurt feelings every time you go live and say, well, I'd like to be referred as her. I, well, see, I, I, hurt, I hurt feelings, period. That's my hurt. point. But you okay with it? Even in your stream, you said it. You told people, fuck how you feel. You don't like it, get off. You said that. Exactly. If oh, you don't Jesus. like that I'm trans or I have HIV, then why would you sit up here all day talking about my house and HIV? You don't like it, so you have a chance to click off and go on about your business. Right, so if you, the person who put it up. I addressed it, you. But because you did. I felt some way about what you said. But if you didn't like it, and if you didn't like it, you could have cut me off, blocked me, did something like that. I did it because I actually wanted to talk to you. But you didn't, because when we're you. trying to talk now, you're not answering anything. But you just keep using words. So I, in that sense, I would call you a black woman, because most black women are just as as stupid to sit around and just name call people and never have the actual discussion. So in that instance, you're acting just like them. Because a normal person isn't going to take time out of their day to sit in a car to talk to someone and not actually talk to them. You have me. Okay, I didn't run from you. He, I haven't shut you down. Out of let saying? me tell you something. If nothing else, you got to say I'm respectful because whatever I said about you, I didn't say it and not allow you to come and say say something back to me. I literally said, sure, if you want to talk to me, here we go. That to me is respect. Okay, but it's a certain way you respect people. Oh, Jesus. I don't see, but this this is what you're not getting at. You don't, if I call, okay, Lord forbid me, because I, uh, I don't even want nobody else calling my mom. But if I, if I address somebody's mom as a bitch, and it's the mom I'm talking to, and they don't like it, but that's me addressing them, you know, that like every time. I'm being disrespectful. She's not going to like it. The only reason why I got on here is because you were just being just as ignorant as everybody else. And people coming to me telling me that you're making little measly donations off of a live that you had no clue what was about. And you put in that live. I'm making little measly like donations. Oh, see. See how you can use your your ability to use English as much as you want to? Measly donations. Let me tell you, you didn't get them measly donations. So why would you use the word measly? But you can use the word measly when that's just your opinion. But I can use the okay. word man when it's the actual fact, but it offends you. See how that okay, works? Because it, it is offensive. Because I don't want to be, I don't want to be called. And measly is offensive when it's more money than you get.